Estonia is readying itself for the Euro switchover. The Baltic country officially joins the single currency next year. In the capital Tallinn, undercover price inspectors are working to root out shady business practices. They're cracking down on questionable conversion rates and pricing. All items must be ticketed in Estonian crowns and in euros to prevent traders deliberately boosting prices. Operating in pairs, the officers show up without notice. Since Estonia introduced dual pricing, the consumer protection inspectors say the rate of violations has gone down, but admit it's an ongoing battle. Since inspections began three months ago, our Consumer Protection Board started the in-depth controls on the 1st of July 2010. In total, we've inspected approximately 2,000 businesses so far. In July, 51% of those we inspected broke the currency changeover rules. In August, that was 43%, and in September, violations went down to roughly 30%. This sweet shop fared well. Only four minor mistakes were found. Despite the threat of a €2,000 fine from authorities, the inspectors say the main culprits for price cheating are restaurants. If traders don't follow these rules, uh, they will be punished. At this local market on the outskirts of the capital, shoppers are worried about rising prices. Prices are already rising. Traders are anticipating it. They'll pretend there's no price rise at all due to euro introduction. Besides, with the euro, we'll depend on others. We'll no longer be able to decide for ourselves. It's a widely shared view. Already there's been a big fight about price rises. Without anyone noticing, everything's getting more expensive. Our money disappears because of the rounding up of prices. The euro's introduction will make it worse. Estonia will abandon the crown on the 1st of January, becoming the 17th member of the Eurozone, having joined the 27-member EU bloc six years ago. With a population of only 1.3 million, Estonia is the smallest of the Baltic states and the first former Soviet Republic to join the Eurozone. Like all countries using the single currency, Estonian coins will have their own individual look. The creator of Estonia's official stamp following the nation's independence from the Soviet Union in 1991 is supervising the design. Our current international frontiers are not exactly what they used to be before the Second World War. We've had to make corrections to our original design. Now the depicted borders on the coins correspond exactly with international ones. Right now our coins will depict the updated and correct borders. Despite getting the green light to join the euro, the demon of spiralling prices looms large. With real concern, inflationary pressures could choke domestic demand, jeopardising Estonia's fragile recovery. A full media campaign has been launched in both Estonian and Russian. Euroscepticism among Estonians is estimated to be relatively low, but remains high among the country's Russian-speaking population. Given Estonia's history, one could be forgiven for being surprised that the desire to keep the country's currency would be so much higher among ethnic Russians. During the Soviet occupation of Estonia from 1940, the crown was banned. These are printing plates for Estonian crowns of 1940, and these plates were quite recently found in walls of Estonian bank. And uh, most probably they were hidden that time uh, when Estonia was occupied by Soviets. The idea of using an international currency in Estonia is arguably not new. Throughout history, invading powers such as Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union have brought their own money. Going further back, there is also evidence of informal monetary union. 
Estonia always has been uh, situated on the crossroads on the ro of the trade, and uh, that's why Estonia uh, already uh, 1,200 years ago started to use Arabic dirhams as a common, common currency all over the northern part of Europe and, and Eastern Europe and, and uh, Asia. Only recently, archaeologists unearthed one of Estonia's biggest coin hoards. Dating back to the 11th century, experts say the silver pieces came from all over Europe. The hoard consists of um, more than 1,300 coins. And uh, the coins were struck in uh, different countries. Uh, the most of those uh, are from uh, Germany, and uh, there are also coins from England, Denmark, Sweden, Arabian countries. Evidence of the nation's previous trading past. But while many believe joining the euro will help drive Estonia's economy and bring real economic prosperity, not everyone is convinced. We need to have one more growth cycle with relatively high inflation, but uh, in the European Monetary Union we cannot have high inflation anymore. Estonia belongs to uh, the area where we keep a strong financial discipline and why we should pay the Tolcha Vita uh, for countries with weak economy. The government doesn't agree. It remains determined to keep a tight lid on inflation, arguing tough monetary discipline and euro introduction is the best way to steer Estonia out of its current economic difficulties. Many in business concur, saying Eurozone membership will also encourage outside investment. It's really important to companies and to people that we can send out uh, measures. We have a stable system, stable economic system, and. Uh, you can trust, uh, trust Estonia, you can trust money, you can trust people. Supporters also insist membership will bring more tourism, particularly with over two-thirds of Estonia's tourists coming from Eurozone states. About uh, one million or over a million uh, incoming uh, visitor trips uh, from Eurozone countries, uh, for whom Euro will uh, make a more convenient, uh, more hassle-free trip to Estonia. In a bid to avoid hidden price hikes, the government is encouraging stores and their owners to take part in a fair price agreement, something this major supermarket has signed up to. Actually, this is the agreement that we promised to our customers that we uh, will not uh, raise our prices. Despite many Europeans saying they feel the euro has been bad for their own country's economies, Estonians in general remain in favour. I'm looking forward to seeing the euro arrive here in Estonia. Life will become easier, travelling will be much easier, everything. Hopes of a brighter economic future. Estonia becomes a full member of the euro on the 1st of January next year.